competition. I love it. It's coming, you know, the money markets, that's, that's how they thrive. That's how you as a user end up getting the best fee services and of course the best rates for your crypto by strong competition. Uniland, I always thought was a cool idea. Basically mixing the permissionless listing capability of Uniswap in the robust money markets of Aave. Okay, so Uniland Finance is a multi-chain protocol lending and borrowing all ERC20 access permissionlessly. They are developing a futuristic base layer for all DeFi applications. Un and Uniland users have the, you know, the capability to unlock their tokens functionality for lending to receive an interest rate and for borrowing by paying an interest rate. Exactly, that's the thing, like we only just scratched the surface of what uh, Uniland can do and I feel that the, yeah, it's uh, very important to you know, really talk about the possibilities of each one because the deeper you go, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, this really is the next big thing, right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like in a few years, right, each one of these things will become so virtual, right? Not on the technology alone, but on the use cases we're going to see happening over and over. Uniland V2 relies on a dual assets lending pool model to offer risk mitigation and um, flexible lending options. All loans are backed by cultural and represented by non fungible tokens which accure their interests. Exactly. So, another thing that stood out to me is again, he was saying that Uniland is kind of like the Uniswap in the Aave. Mm -hmm. So, that reminds me of one how simple it would be to use for like, uh, you know, beginners, right? Correct. Or it can be very just advanced and deep for you know people who use Aave. So I think the range of what it offers caters to everyone, whether you're brand new or you're a veteran in the DeFi industry. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. indeed. But again, another really, really good project. Exactly, yeah. Right, unlike 2017, right? The projects were so weak, but there was so much money thrown at them. I think this is kind of the reverse. I mean, there's a lot of money wanting to invest, right? But this time, projects have learned. And they are not just like, getting bloated with lots and lots of cash. Combining the functionality of uh, permissionless lending and borrowing and adding absolutely any ERC20 tokens gives uh, positive results as it uh, maximizes trade and um, investment opportunities for users. The project with the proper development can become an important part of the DeFi ecosystem, creating equal con uh, conditions for all potential uh, participants.